All righty. Well, good evening to all of you. Welcome to our regularly scheduled Zoning Advisory Commission meeting this evening, August 3rd, 2022. Call this meeting to order. Sheena, would you please take roll? You bet. Um, Zaccaro? Here. Kemp? Here. Christ? Here. Russell? Here. Norton is excused and Mulligan. All right, Sheena, can you confirm we are in compliance with the Iowa Open Meetings Law? We are. Thank you. All right, commissioners in front of you are the minutes from our July 6th meeting. I'd like to entertain a motion for approval or any modifications as such. Motion to approve the minutes from the July 6th, 2022 meeting. <clears throat> okay. I'll second. We have a motion and we have a second. Sheena? Uh, Kemp? Sane. Thank you. Zaccaro? Aye. Norton? Or excuse me? Christ? Aye. Russell? Aye. Mulligan? Aye. Okay. Well, this evening we have one item. So we have an action item uh, for the Y camp place number two. Uh, the plat of the survey, and this evening, who is going to be speaking? Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. We'll ask that the applicant comes on up, states their name, address, and what it is they're looking for from the commission. Okay. Actually, if you could, if we could get you at the <laughs> microphone, that'd be great. <laughs> it picks you up on the mic that way. So. And then adjust up and down the podium if you need to go up. I think I'm okay. I'm Stefan Alt. I'm here um, representing uh, Mr. and Mrs. Butler, the potential purchasers of uh, lot two of Y Camp Place number two. And I'm here this evening to request um, recommendation for approval of the Y Camp Place plat number two. Okay. Very good. Are there any questions? <laughs> Uh, commissioners, any? Well, hang on a minute. Actually, no, at this point, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Anything from the commission? Yeah. Sheena, if you could give us your report, that'd be great. Certainly. So, Sheena Moon, Associate Planner. <clears throat> Uh, so I'll just uh, highlight a little bit of the um, an overview of the project here. So this is, as I as mentioned, um, a plat. This is a, a plat a plat of a survey for a simple subdivision. Um, simple in that the code defines a simple subdivision in that it's creating less than three lots. Um, this proposed plat would create two lots. This is um, currently. Uh, approximately a 34.1 acre property that is accessed off of J uh, John F. Kennedy Road. It is located within Dubuque County. And the simple subdivision proposes to create two lots out of this existing parcel. Lot one would be uh, on the north side there, as you can see in the image on the screen, would be approximately 15.4 acres and would continue to take access from uh, John F. Kennedy Road. And lot two would essentially uh, occupy approximately the southern half of that existing parcel, approximately 8.7 acres. Um, and as platted here, would not have frontage on a um, private or public street. Um, the Unified Development Code says that any simple subdivisions in which uh, there is a requirement to waive a, 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 re a regulation, in this instance, the request would be to waive the requirement for 50 feet of frontage along a private or public street. And that is the reason why it has come before the commission this evening. Um, Let's see here. So staff's recommendation tonight uh, would be that the Zoning Advisory Commission review the plat. Uh, the other thing, uh, and then also recommend uh, approval subject to waiving that 50-foot requirement for street frontage. Uh, and then the second por portion of that uh, worth considering is that the um, applicant team is currently in progress of having communications with staff and the city, rather, to determine an appropriate access to this second parcel. So um, this parcel abuts the uh, Marshall Park and Arbor 
Arboretum property. And so um, seeking to take access to that lot to through that property. And so we would just ask that um, the approval be conditioned upon receipt of an approved and finalized access agreement with the city of Dubuque and any applicable entities that we be part of that agreement. Uh, and with that, staff's available to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you, Sheena. Um, okay, with that, I'll open it up to any questions from the commission or staff. <clears throat> so I'm sure, Sheena, just for clarity. So the current access to the back parcel there, obviously off JFK, right? And so upon the simple subdivision, we're gonna be accessed from the south now through, through the Arboretum is what we're saying, correct? Uh, yes, that's correct, Terry Mulligan. And that's what they are actively working to secure is access through, uh, as you can see in the image here, uh, the Arboretum property in Marshall Park sits just to the south of what would be that southern portion of lot two. Um, and so they are working to actively seek or obtain access through that, that property. I guess I, I do have a question, on, and I'm not sure how relevant it is, but I'm curious, would this lot two eventually be annexed into the city? Or has that even been discussed? Do you want to address that, that question first? for, for Sheena or myself? <laughs> Anybody that might. So I, I'll start first. Um, so like we mentioned, we're in the act, uh, planning services manager, Wally Wormont. Um, we're in the process of working on an access agreement. There's been some discussion on whether or not we're going to just have a pre-annexation agreement um, or there'll be a requirement for annexation for that property to be brought into the city. So there is discussion going on about annexation, whatever, however that comes out with the agreement whether it's pre-annexation agreement or actually annexing the property in the city. Um, we're still in the conversations with that. I don't know if you want to add anything to that, Stefan? Um, no, ideally, uh, the Butlers are going to purchase the property, develop the property, and from our perspective, we would um, hope that the annexation doesn't occur until the ultimate owners of the property being uh, the Arboretum Association um, take title to the property, and at that point, if the city and the uh, Arboretum Association want to work out the annexation, that's their prerogative. Thank you. All right, very good. Any other questions for staff? If not, we'll entertain a motion. I move we recommend approval of the plat of survey of Y Camp Place number two. Uh, subject to waiving the uh, lot frontage requirements for lot number two thereof and uh, subject to an access agreement being worked out between the city and the property owner. Okay, very good. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Okay, Sheena, we have a motion and we have a second. Uh, Christ? Aye. Zuccaro? Aye. Kemp? Aye. Russell? Aye. Mulligan? Aye. Okay, motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wally, will this be going before city council? This will go to the city council in their August, um, August 15th meeting, yep. August 15th, okay. Thank you. August 15th, mm -hmm. okay, great. <laughs> All right, um, we have no other action items. We don't have any other public hearings as well. Are there any items from the public to discuss? Okay, great. I know we have something from staff. Yes, so we need to um, appoint two commissioners to serve on, um, as, uh, on the airport zoning commission as a liaison rep representative stumbling over my words. Um, and so that's what we would ask the, the commission to do tonight is to appoint uh, two individuals to serve as that as liaisons to that commission. So Sheena, I just have a question on that. According to the registry or whatever with the things, I'm on there till 2026. Is that not correct? I'm one of the representatives. So do you need two additional? Nope. Nope, that is a great point. So we would just need to, I believe with the reappointment of Ms. Uh, Chair Mulligan, that we need to essentially fill your the position that you were previously holding. So, so just um, one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you for clarifying yeah. that. Nope. Is there a limit on the terms? You can. Yeah. 
Um, so the airport um, zoning advisory commission is very unique in fact that it's, <laughs> I'm going to give you a long winded answer. <laughs> um, they've never met in the time frame that I've been here. Um, it's a joint county board where there's county commissioners and city commissioners and they get involved with situations with, they may come and play with airport zoning regulations. Um, so the term, yeah, there are terms that are set aside for that. Um, I'd have to take a look at it specifically to figure out how long they actually serve. You know, normally our terms are three to five years. Um, but a lot of times when we have to reappoint to the airport uh, zoning commission, we actually have a zoning board of adjustment also commission. Um, a lot of times it's tied to like someone's term. Um, if, they're, if they're up and this might be the case with the existing one that's at this time. So uh, we just need to reappoint someone for that, for that time. So if you give me two seconds, I'll pull up and tell you how long that term is. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if Matt could serve again. Oh yeah, there's no, there's terms. not a limit on the number oh, of terms. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what my question was. Right. I'll tell you what, I'm happy to serve on that. One. <laughs> <laughs> nominate Matt. Second. Now, Terry, unless you would like to get into this. Um, uh, I'll take a roll for that then. Uh, Christ? Aye. Zuccaro? Aye. Kemp? Aye. Russell? Aye. Mulligan? Uh, I <laughs> I'll get in trouble on that one. <laughs> All right. With that, are there any other items from the commission this evening? Okay. We'll entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. Adjourned. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> so moved. Thanks, y'all.